Hey, I'm Twilight of the Golden Bow from Glasgow, Mason. For my project, I am reading 50 Queers Who Changed the World by Dan Jones. Young Elvis is still alive, and she's beautiful, said Madonna of Young Kath Madonna Lang, born 1961. It was the height of Lang's fame and the handsome comedian with a sense was Patsy Condrell was, quite simply, the world's most famous lesbian. In the mid-90s, the quiet singer and queer culture itself was having a bit of a moment. Lang's in January, 1992, her multi selling, Grammy-nominated album, saw her direct in supermodels and celebs, attending fashion shows, falling out of busy parties, even shot by Rob's roots for the cover of Vanity Fair, 1993, being shared by Cindy Crawford, Lang grew up on the prairie lands of Edmonton and formed a band, The Reclines, in 1983. She worked on her own band of cowboy punk in catch outfits, started packing up her words, and recorded Crying, a duet with Roy Orbison, in 1987. She then started in queer cult classic Salma Berries, 1991 and the legendary coming out episode of Ellen, 1997. At the height of her fame, Lang ran the cool kids. She counted actor and comedian Sandra Bay and Madonna's friends and lesbian chic was a thing. After ending you, she used her new star power to become a spokesperson for lesbian and gay issues, animal rights and human rights into bed. Although the press has stopped frothing about Lang and the huge gains made in the 90s towards the visibility of gay people in mainstream media have a little fickle, the effect Lang and her music had on the generation of queer kids should not be underestimated.